You are now listening to the Inner Circle Podcast Network. Hashtag no offense uses strong language and is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. Hashtag no offense. Welcome back to the Hashtag No Offense Show. My name is Chris, and uh, I'm coming at you with a special guest today. We've got No Dutch. We've got Adam Simmons of the Simmons and More podcast making his Black Friday return to the Hashtag No Offense Show sans Bobby Moore, which is kind of fucking weird that you're coming in on Black Friday with your black co-host. It's it's White Friday. It's White Friday in this mug? We're here. (laughs) Hey, I've got love for Bobby. I got love for Bobby, and I wish you had him with you, and I'm kind of disappointed that you asked me if you could come on without him, if I'm being Uh, quite honest. Well, he is, uh, as you know, it is Black Friday, so he's got a lot of responsibility today. (laughs) Uh, He's got to go, like, be places. (laughs) And like throw TVs in the crowds and stuff. That's what the real meaning of Black Friday is: is watching Bobby Moore beat the shit out of people in a t- parking lot of Target. Well, I'm gonna get him on by himself now because it's only fair. I mean, I've been asking for that for almost three years now, so that's fine. That's false, and you know it. <laughs> well, however many years it's been, I don't know. It feels like in a millennia. Hey, well, time is time. N- time is not a thing, dude. You know that, and I know that. Um, are we going to do this? I mean, <laughs> are we going to do this? Cause I don't have Dutch to hold me back, dude. I mean, we're both here. <laughs> well, in the spirit of, uh, capitalism and consumerism, why don't we talk about some fucking sponsors and get me paid? I heard there is a, um, a black Friday sale going on over at hempbombs.com right now. There is a lot of shit going on right now. Yes, there is a black Friday sale going on. Well, probably by the time this audio comes out, it'll be at the tail end. But if you do catch it, we are sponsored by hempbombs.com and we are running a black Friday sale take an additional 13% off to make a total of 33% off on your order of uh, CBD cannabinoid oil products, right? Is that the proper terminology? I believe that is the proper terminology. <laughs> Hemp bombs are specifically formulated to provide consumers with a quality CBD product at an affordable price. Many benefits include reduced anxiety, increased sense of relaxation, reduction of aches and pains, mood enhancement, deeper, more restful sleep. Uh, And mush mouth. Yes, and mush mouth. No, that's a product of my my iced coffee because I'm trying to uh, come come back to life after working on Black Friday. Shout out to consumerism. Yeah. So um, hemp bombs come in a wide variety of products, including oils, gummies, suckers, vapes, even products for your pet. Typically... But like I said, by the time you hear this, it will more than likely be after the sale's over. So use code HTNOS, you'll get yourself 20% off. But if you're one of those loyal subscribers, if you get this shit on Sunday and you're like, oh my God, they put on an episode. I can't believe it. It's on my it's on my cellular device. I have to listen to it immediately. You still have time to save. Use HTNOS 33 to get 33% off till 12-3, December the 3rd. Yeah. Stock up. Power of numerology, 33%. Hey. Do you know the significance of 33? Because I know it's something and I can't find it. And I said it to Dutch last week and now I sound like a fucking charlatan. You are, I mean, you are a charlatan uh, for sure, 100%, <laughs> but as am I. So that's quite all right. Uh, no, I don't study numerology, but I know Jamal Adams is number 33 and he's the best safety in the league. So uh, there's that. I think he might be one of the only bright spots of your team. Yeah. I mean, he is leading the league in sacks, I think, as at, a, at safety. <laughs> That's tough, seeing yeah. as we have Khalil Mack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to Aaron Donald and them. You know, all of them. Uh, we are also sponsored by your favorite company on planet Earth outside of the Jiu-Jitsu Soap Company. It is Onnit.com. Why don't you do my Onnit read for me? Tell me about Onnit. Uh, well, Onnit, Onnit.com is a health and wellness juggernaut. Uh, they... You know, they pride themselves on human optimization. Uh, Not only do I take a lot of their supplements, but I recommend them to everyone. It actually might have been one of the first conversations that you and I had in person uh, when you came here last February. You were like, why are you all fired up? And I was like, well, motherfucker, uh, on it, just put out this. uh, It was like some B12 vitamin B supplement that I had been taking uh, that I still have. That's incredible. So when you're feeling a little low, you can take that. Uh, I take Shroom Tech Sport um, that helps, you know, oxygenate your blood and run blood and oxygen to all your muscles so that your last push 
is as powerful as your first push, and you're more in the zone at all times. Listen to you, uh, it's got It's got ashwagandha. <laughs> it's got cordyceps mushrooms in it. It's got all types of good shit in it. It's got ashwagandha uh, Alpha in brain. Them. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's got ashwagandha in them. Alpha brain is by far my favorite thing that I've ever found ever. Uh, it helps keep your brain in the alpha state for longer. And if you take it before you go to bed, you can lucid dream. I know this for a fact. I do it fairly often. Uh, I waste a lot of alpha brain just taking it and going to sleep just so I can play in my dreams. Bro, it, I've tried, and I can't get it to work. That said, um, I have been th- having I think those... it's because you're big dumb. Shout out to no, Riley. No, no, but, no, no, um, no, no, no. I have it, been having those parallel dimension dreams, though, so maybe it's just affecting my computer differently. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I don't. Maybe. I can't control it, but I seem to be in direct uh, uh, c- contact with alternate reality Jason Almy. Like him and I hang out a lot in my dreams, and it's not our Jason Almy. It's Jason Almy, but slightly different. Yo, shout out to the man, the man in the high tower. You watch that shit? I just like have streamlined all the way up to season three. You've been telling me about it for days. quite some time, and I haven't. And I've been interested as fuck, but I haven't Dude. watched it. Yeah, I don't want to like blow the doors off that show, but you sound like you should watch at least a couple of episodes of it for sure. Well, let me finish um, this and then blow the doors off it. Go to go to onit.com slash HC not save 10% on your entire order of all your nootropic needs, your workout equipment, your sexy titty t-shirts, and whatever you decide to take home. Yo, those t-shirts are so comfortable, dog. I haven't got one and I want one. Yeah, they're all made out of like uh, recycled hemp fibers and stuff like that. You just like fall right asleep in them. See, I got to call my boss, Joe Rogan, and get him to send me a care package of shit. Oh, you, you mean know? Joe? Yeah. You guys, yeah. first name basis, Joe? First name basis, Joe. Yeah. And, and first name basis, Aubrey and them, you know, like I'm, I'm with all of them. Aubrey is my boyfriend. I just want to let everyone know. It's so funny how it's such a small community because my boss is your boyfriend. So we're connected that way as well. <laughs> <laughs> On dot com slash 18 us. So yes, tell me about the man in the high tower. Uh, well, I mean, I, I don't want to like spoil it. It's good. Well, don't it's fucking, just, like, you, you, you don't got to spoil it. I'm not asking I mean, you for I do, a comprehensive kinda. fucking, you know, analysis of each episode. I mean, tell me where to fuck to find All it. All right. So in episode one, is. uh, no, it's on, it's on Amazon prime. It's where you can you find like the boys and that, uh, Jack Ryan show. Fuck Jack that, Ryan. Uh, that's why I what? never see that look, show fucking rules. That's why I never see it because I never go to to Amazon Prime. I never make it that far on my list of apps, you know, because I got like seven apps that I fucking bounce between now. I never make it down to Amazon. Well, it's because you're too busy watching fucking Disney Plus like a pedophile. Word that is happening, but not like a pedophile. Yeah. Well, I mean, only <laughs> pedophiles really love Disney Plus like you that. You watching The Mandalorian? Yeah, I you're am, but I only watched The Mandalorian. Dude. I tried watching anything else, and I was like, ooh, you know what? Uh, Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. I got to get out of here. <laughs> you know what? Fucking, I, I am thinking about starting a segment on hashtag no offense, like where I revisit an old movie and see if it holds up via Disney plus. I've you should got- watch, you should watch Dumbo, the original, and then watch fucking that character named Jim Crow. Who's a crow. Who's like, Hey there, massa. Oh, you're and one of them. Like, oh, you're one of them, shit. huh? You're one of them guys. Dog. You can't just Look. fucking watch it. You can't just watch it. You got to overanalyze the fucking cartoons and shit. Bro, what do you mean overanalyze? It He's was got- a half a century ago. What do you want? So was slavery, <laughs> beloved. What are we fucking talking about? <laughs> How dare you on Black Friday of all days? <laughs> yeah. Fuck me, man. No, I had this thought when we watched Return to Oz and it was all creepy and shit. And uh, it was not, at, well, it was kind of like I remembered, but it was even worse, tying it back even to the pedophiles with the fucking rollerblade pink hair pedophiles and shit. Um, but They're next up on the booty. list, Swiggity Swooty. Next up on the list is The Rocketeer. You remember that shit? I do remember that shit. I remember watching it and loving it, but I don't. I couldn't tell you a fucking thing about it other than he had a gold fucking no, helmet. No, definitely flies not. That shit. dude had a gold ass head. And that's Hell all yeah. I know. So that's next on the list. Disney Plus archives. We're going to see if it holds up. I bet you, though, if you mention the Rocketeer to Kaz, he'll be like, oh, yeah, John Oppenheimer. He was the fucking Rocketeer. And then his <laughs> grandma died and he like goes down the whole fucking synopsis of the movie. Why would like, Kaz How know? do you fucking know that? Why would he know? Dog. I mean, prove me wrong tonight. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, I want, but I am going to, I am interested in watching that because that's like alternate reality as if the Nazis won, correct? Yes. Yeah. So uh, they drop a bomb on DC after America wins the war, air quotes, and then they drop a bomb on DC and then they rush over to like fix DC and then Japan comes in and takes over the West Coast. So Japan takes over all the way over to like Arizona and California side that whole West coast side. And then there's like a big, they call it the neutral zone. It's like the Colorado Rockies all the way down Mexico and then down into uh, South America. 
but the Nazis have like all of the fucking world. They have from like half of Russia all the way over all of Africa. They fucking demolished everything. Uh, and what's fucked up is that like everything's running really smoothly. Like <laughs> there's like there there's a light rail that you can get on a train from like New York to uh, fucking Germany in like a day, two days or something like that. To Germany, there's, like they build a bridge over yeah, the fucking wind- ocean wind power yeah it's like a tunnel train that goes under the water and shit and then it conduces energy for the rest of the reich and shit hitler's still alive he's like old as fuck he's got a tiny little mustache it's gray everybody else looks like you everyone else pretty much just looks like me <laughs> it's it's set in the like in the late 50s early 60s it's crazy it's nuts uh fucking oh, what's my man's name not shao khan from Mortal Sa- Kombat? Sang Shung from fucking Mo- the Mortal Kombat movies in it. He's like one of the main characters. Oh, for real? Yeah. The one from the movie. Your he's soul got- is mine. Yeah, yeah he's, he's got like some expressive the, uh, He's like eyes. the trade minister for fucking Japan. So do they get into like the supernatural element of like the, the Nazis chasing down like fucking uh, demonic portals and alien guns and shit? No, but they're they're leaning into it heavy at this point. Mm. Uh, there's a little bit of like time skipping and like alternate realities and stuff like that that come in around season two that I'm like just starting to get into. Okay. Well, you got me with that because I, I just finished EOA and I know you ain't trying to hear it, but I mean. Dog, I, it doesn't make any fucking sense. It's I don't not know supposed what to make sense, to dog. It's not supposed to make sense. I mean, we're talking about the okay, fabric the of reality. How know, can it make I sense? I didn't know what the Saturn Time Cube was before I started watching it, and I refused to watch it again because I'm not trying to see a bunch of motherfuckers do some fucking Tai Chi at each other's faces Listen, inside dude. of a fucking swimming pool that doesn't have any water in it where they're doing the fucking – the the Mandalorian mouth and shit. They start making fucking <laughs> balloon animals and listen, shit. That they, shit is not fucking cool. So listen, uh, it's like oh no, that bitch got fucking shot in the chest, and now we're gonna put, keep her in a fucking terrarium with a bunch of fucking weirdos. Well, listen. So spoiler alert: season two, they make the jump to an alternate reality, and they now they don't they don't need to do those fucking Tai Chi's and shit. They've got little robots that come. Spoiler alert: out of cubes. They fucking put down all these little cubes and yeah, these little robots that. come out and they're like, chuk, 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 and they do it all quick as fuck. And they're like, wah, 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 and then they just <laughs> fucking go to where they got to go. Now they're picking where they fucking go. But it is weird because there's like yeah, a that, house that involved shit got now canceled because nobody except you and that dude who wrote that book that like that show. <laughs> That's not true. Fucking go, go on Twitter right now and look up the hashtag fucking bring back the OA. It's mad popular. It, who is it? You and Nick Hinton? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shout out. No. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, dog? Shout out to the homie. I'm fucking chilling. Everything is terrible. Uh, but I'm doing fucking great. I'm thriving. I'm full blown on my fucking Aubrey Marcus shit. I know I look sad, but I did post a picture of me smiling the other day, unbeknownst to my friends and family. Joe B was like, Huh, I didn't even know you smiled. I was like, Fuck, man. <laughs> I was going to say that alarmed people more than anything. I know. Was that a Thanksgiving? But, What'd you do for Thanksgiving, man? Uh, I t- fucking went to went to my parents' house, drank a fucking shit ton of wine, hung out with Bobby Light, and, uh, and then helped him move into my fucking house. A lot of moving parts going on right now, man. There's a lot of moving parts right now, as you can tell before the fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> uh how, yeah, how are the parents? I'm, I'm fucking chilling. So if uh, if people don't know, my girl and I broke up. She took my dog. She's moving back to New York. Then my family dog died. And then my podcast studio is not a studio anymore. And we, Bobby Moore and I almost had to give up the whole fucking show. And we figured it out. And now we're back. And uh, I don't want to kill myself for the first time in like my entire life. It's pretty for great. Fucking A, dude. Because yeah. I mean, like, you are literally yeah. a country song right now. Like, my girl yeah. left and took my dog, and I don't want to die no more. And then my <laughs> other dog died, and both my parents have cancer. <laughs> like, <laughs> shit, dude. But it's it's cool. I don't have any food in my refrigerator right now, but I don't need food because I got fucking push-ups and protein shakes. I'm going to fucking look much better than Riley in February because <laughs> well, fuck that motherfucker. Well, He's like, well, always he that. just... What's he say? I said, well, always that. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously. I mean, not just in my facial region um, and my personality and uh, how I am as a human. 
and a philanthropist, um, but you know, just like <laughs> generally aesthetically more pleasing than Riley Trudell will ever be not, ever in his entire life. You do he not sent label me a picture. A philanthropist, you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, he. Well, I mean, now I can be. I'm like collecting art and shit. You know what it is. Uh, I just bought that for aesthetic. Now you're I just eccentric. bought that fucking Frasetta piece. I'm real fucking stoked about it. It's got lizards and fucking waves and like a naked bitch with her titties out. It's it's super Frasetta. Yeah, um, but, I knew what it was Ry- before you even told me just by dropping that name. That's right. <laughs> so Ry- Riley was like, uh, you're going to be fat and depressed by February. And I went, oh, yeah. Okay. So I've just been like quietly like trying to work out and like just just as a joke. Like just to look better than Riley, and he sent me a picture of him drinking a a pitcher of beer, like right before we went live. And I like sent him a picture of a protein shake, and I said, "I'll see you in February." <laughs> well, you do you're doing the stereotypical shit, dude. You get fucking you get you 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 break up with a chick, and you you all of a sudden you lose twenty pounds, and you go to the gym, and you do that thing, and then you're gonna get wifed up again, and you're gonna fucking be goddamn fucking fat Tony Stark again in no time. Hey, dude, I'm just trying to get my pee pee touched, <laughs> you know. Well, you can do that. Just don't be fucking wifed up by the time we get there. You got I mean, two more months, dude. Two more months. You can go fucking eight weeks. Oh, my God. It's two months away. December. Well, not even uh, quite. End of January. No, I know. But like, it's pretty fucking close, man. I feel like it's forever away, but I guess that's perspective. <laughs> I can't wait. I cannot fucking wait. For the people who don't know what we're talking about. The Call in the Shots podcast has politely invited the Simmons Amore podcast to do the Super Duper Bowl 2 again. Again. We are going to play the House of Independence in Asbury Park. Uh, it's going to be sold out again. It's going to be a fucking great time again. But the entire Inner Circle podcast network is predicated on this meetup last year. Uh, we all got together as a bunch of friends and Absolutely. we got some cheesesteaks and ate some edibles allegedly. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, we just had a good people. conversation and then we stuck a pirate flag in the ground and we were like, we're fucking here, bitch. We're here. Yeah. Uh, so this year fucking Kaz is coming big excited about that. Yeah. Uh, Mikey's going to try and make it out. Fucking Almy, Joe B, Riley, fucking Davis, all of our friends, uh, from around here, like the calling the shots guys, Angelo Gingerelli, Ming. I'm going to try and get, uh, John Pukaki Bukenis, uh, in cause he's like what? fucking, he's like right over there. He's like super fucking close. He's like right over there. Like, what, yeah. like over there. Uh, he's actually just this wall. I mean, he's <laughs> so big that you can just see him. He's right here. I'm touching the side of his areola. That is a it. white ass wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely got an Eagles logo on there somewhere. Um, <laughs> but uh, we're going to make this like a big deal. And even if the show fucking flops, which it won't because we're fucking great, we have Sam PC 200. Big. We have uh, Inner Circle. Um, the one-year anniversary. One-year anniversary show. We're going to do like a comedy is dead thing. We're going to do a fucking episode. We have to do an episode of the fucking Hood Diner, right? Like. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, we, dude, I want to go to New York. I want to fucking do acid. I want to do it all. <laughs> it's going to be fucking great. Joe B called me earlier and we were talking for a little bit and we were, you know, trying to talk about what we were doing. And I'm like, look, all I know is that we have Ming booked for Friday and we're doing Sam PC 200 on Saturday. Other than that, I don't fucking know, uh-huh. baby. It's loosey goosey. I don't fucking know. Uh-huh. Well, I was I'm like, ready. yo, like, I, I want to take you to these places. And you were like, we're going to Jack's and we're going to Shake Shack. Fuck you. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I was telling Joe, I said, last year, Adam picked me up from the airport. And I was like, hey, take me to all the fucking Kevin Smith shit, dude. I want to go to the quick stop. I want to go to the uh, secret stash. And you were like, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. And you went to that part of town. You were like, oh, dude, I can't find parking. Fuck it. We're, we're going to leave. And I'm like, what do you mean? Fuck it. We're going to leave. I'm yeah, only here for now. Shit. I want to go. Yeah, that shit's super regular. We're going to go to Red Bank. We're going to do the whole fucking thing. Uh, Sam PC actually got their start in Red Bank. We used to record right behind the secret stash. Yeah. So we're we're tied in there. And you know what? Maybe I can link something up with Ming and we can see if we can get like some uh maybe some extra some extraordinary yeah. uh torage. Well, I was thinking maybe we can hook something up with Ming and he can call his buddy Kevin Smith and he can sit in on fucking the inner circle one year anniversary episode and be like, Hey, all you random ass fucks with your random ass podcast, you're all pretty entertaining. Why don't I take you with me to LA and we'll go off into the sunset? So you said that you couldn't <laughs> smoke weed before, right? Like, did that yeah. change at any time? Can I start sending you edible arrangements or? No, I still am currently employed uh, by no, my same but, employer. I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility. 
I want to I want to say that, but also I don't want to make Ming seem like we're going to take advantage. I mean, even though we literally always take advantage of his his generosity, his generosity. I'm like, his "Hey husband, Ming, how are you? I want to record a podcast here." He's like, "Okay, cool. Here's a year supply of Death Wish coffee." I'm like, "Hey, get at <sighs> me. Okay, I'll dude. buy you a pizza." I want to be sponsored by Death Wish Coffee. Get at me, dude. I love coffee. He uh his podcast studio is sponsored by death wish coffee and every time i go in there i get a fucking bag that's awesome and you're gonna brew it up for yeah, me when he's, i'm sleeping he's at the your fucking, fucking best house. he is the best he's like yeah. the nicest oh guy everyone's ever. by the way everyone's sleeping in my house it's gonna be fantastic and it's gonna be a fucking time i'm 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 ready for it dude i'm fucking ready for it yeah. uh circling circling back i am sad to hear about your your personal life but i mean if it is for the best and it is that shit's fucking great I, well, I mean, if it is, then so be it, dude. But I'd be checking in on you and shit, and you're like, no, I'm like super great. And I'm like, man, you and me are two different fucking people, man. Nah, I'm super duper good, dude. It's good, man. Uh, we, and I mean, you and I have spoken privately about this, but we served our purpose to each other. Like, even when, so when she and I met, I was in a fucking world of pain. Like, I, I hated life. And even when you and I, like, met up and started talking to each other, I put on a good face, but like, I fucking hated me, man. And I hated being outside. And I was like, my anxiety was terrible. My depression was like through the fucking roof. And now I'm like a fucking bucket of daisies covered in fucking LSD. <laughs> I am like, I'm fucking living, Jack. Uh, I had, so she was like uh, an anchor yeah. for me to uh, anchor in the storm. You okay. know, she was a port in the storm and then she got really sick and I was there to help her and be an anchor in her life so that she could fucking figure her shit out. And now that we have figured our shit out and, you know, kind of grown up a little bit and, you know, I kind of got my shit together and she's got her shit together. We're just going to fucking split up. Like we don't want to be with each other anymore. And I think that if you don't want to be with the person that you're with, don't fucking be with them i'm out here telling people to get fucking divorced actively you know what i mean <laughs> like like if i don't fucking like if just you don't fucking want to be with that hey. bitch don't fucking be with that bitch um just for the record do, it's not you dutch <laughs> no no well, the, the, the next part of what i was gonna say uh was if if you do want to be with that person figure that shit out dude like find some mushrooms or find some mdma and just fucking take that shit and spend a night together and hang out and like you know, do some inner thinking and some outer thinking and then like come together and like rekindle, you know, if you guys have been together for fucking 30 plus years, 25 years, whatever, whatever, you're not the same skinny Elvis impersonator that you were when you were back in fucking Chicago. You know what I mean? You're like a fat piece of shit that everyone fucking. Oh, hates. you just made this personal. Oh, no, 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 no. I know this is a <laughs> completely hypothetical situation. Um, you just, you know, if like you had like sideburns that went past your ears and like listen to a lot of punk and ska music and like mm -hmm. really thought alkaline trio was good. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're like from Chicago and then mm -hmm. moved to Tampa and then went back to Chicago and then just like in a hypothetical situation, if you got together with like your high school sweetheart and then like you guys stayed together and it was a little tumultuous and then like you kind of had shitty families and then you like left and then it came back and then you left like totally hypothetical situation. Um, that is in no way personal to anyone that I know at least. And then, you know, you guys kind of moved to Tampa and then settled down and then like started a podcast with like two of your friends and then they left and then uh, you got another guy and then he left and then you and your wife or whoever, like your partner, um, non-binary, whatever, uh, you guys had a podcast and then you kind of like worked out all your problems on on your podcast and stuff like that. But it was like, you know, just a completely uh, like a situation that like just doesn't it's not real. It's a totally fake situation um, that I'm just making up in my head completely randomly. Um, but, you know, if you're in that sort of situation that's like that, possibly maybe take some mind altering drugs that's out of your system in two or three days, uh, you know, take a long weekend and enjoy each other's company for the first time and like for real in, in a long time. You know, that's just like some advice that I would have, you know, the best thing in a, in a hypothetical situation the, that is in no way real. The thing that I learned the most about being your friend is that sometimes you have to hold on loosely. And just, just fucking just go along for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, so when you get that fucking look, hey, hey I'm just going to, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to let you do your thing, buddy. <laughs> 
I learned that early the fuck on talking about last year. You, you were all jacked so, uh, up and shit. I've told that story so many times. So my first fucking experience with Adam Simmons is he comes ro- running into the Newark airport dressed like Han Solo, and he's like, gives me a fucking real quick hug. Hey, dude, come on, we gotta go. Grab your shit. I'm double parked. And fucking like skipping, dude. Fucking walking on rainbows and shit. Like holy fuck, man. <laughs> Welcome to the fucking best weekend of your life, dude. I was stoked. <laughs> yeah, I was stoked about that. I was really stoked to see you there. I was really in the middle of a panic attack. And then when I when I saw you there, I was like, yes, we can finally leave. Let's go. <laughs> I was double parked as a motherfucker. They were like bums in the middle of February outside without jackets on, eating fucking Gordon Ramsay pizza out of a fucking box that was cold as fuck. Mad pigeons from Newark just kind of chilling everywhere. Mad pigeons from Newark. <laughs> I thought my car got fucking towed. I remember, we were walking out, and I was like, oh, shit, I think my car got towed. You were like, what? Yeah. I was like, hold on. Wait, wait. No, okay, we're good. Way to kick that off. I'm going to yeah, do better this, this year, though. I'm going to make it to your event. I will be present. I oh, we're dragging you there. There's no fucking Christina this year, dog. That's true. I might end up dead for, for a while. Well, there ain't no fucking saving <laughs> grace, beloved. Riley tried his best. He did. He tried his best. He, that big bastard walked like fucking seven blocks to find the only 7-Eleven around. He was like, I'm going to get you monsters, and I'm going to get you back to life. I'm going, what kind of snacks do you like? And I'm like, You know, he could have just walked across the street. There was a bodega across the street. He doesn't know what a bodega is. Are you fucking for real, dude? That, that's true. Are you for real right now? Yeah. You're like, hey, okay, but go see Dazer and Miro and get a fucking monster over there. No, he's looking for a fucking corporate logo, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That privilege. <laughs> Speaking of which, hey, let's talk about fucked up things where I'm from. Oh, okay. Oh, that you mean, oh, you mean my homeland? Your homeland. Yes, you are from here. I am. Let's hit let's kick it. Woo doggy. Hey Beatrice. Yeah. Get your ass in here. These no fence boys about to do welcome to Florida again. Let me grab the natty. Oh shit, and I thought my family was fucked up. So I pulled some things for you. Well, first I let me, I'm getting. I'll ahead give of you my, something to pull. <laughs> fuck off! I'm getting ahead of myself here because every week, uh, uh, what the fuck? Florida stories are sponsored by Official Clothing. <laughs> Talking about our homeboy Kaz. Check out official.com. That's O H F I S H L, and use code HTNOS or SAMPC, and you can save yourself twenty five percent off of your order of handmade t shirts, hats, and jewelry. Official Clothing. What Adam? Live by your own rules. <laughs> 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 I, oh, I, and it's good fucking high quality shit. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll insert that. That's called pro- post production, baby. I know, but I just wanted to say it because I like it. <laughs> and it's good fucking high quality. Uh, first one I got for you is for you specifically because I've driven in cars with you and I talk to you most of the time when you're in a vehicle. Uh huh. Uh, Largo, Florida. Florida man spits food into a woman's mouth during a road rage incident. Ooh, wait, like consensually? No. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, it's he's a freak freak. Yeah. He, well, he found his freak freak in the middle of a road rage, inc- road rage incident. Hey, dude, we fucking we it happens. I we guess we like right? to get down in New Jersey. You know how it goes. Uh, That's dope. So he so he like chewed up a hamburger and spit that shit in her mouth. Did he grab her mouth like out the window it, or was it like <laughs> is, is he is he a splash brother? He's got he's the Hawkeye of hamburgers hawkeye of hamburgers um his name is david whipperman of Uh, course it is why wouldn't it be (laughs) he's 61 years old and he allegedly exited his chevy to confront confront the woman who was trying to apologize to him for an earlier road rage incident so they they must have fucking got into a little skirmish pulled off to the side of the road and she was like hey i fucked up i looked down at my phone look i i know it's my bad she rolls her window down to apologize and at this point uh, it says instead he hocked chewed up food from inside his mouth at the woman. The food. Well, what was he eating? Was it gator? Doesn't say. Gator's tough, Fuck, dude. Man. He might have just been chewing on that shit like jerky. Yo, if gator's cooked right, it's fucking beautiful. But I've if it not, it's times. gummy and shitty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it says, "quote The food struck the victim in the face and entered her mouth." So Ooh. she must have been Wait, screaming. Can you, and, can you like, that slower for me, please. I'm single now. <laughs> I, I I envision her like fucking screaming and getting you know getting wild with his ass and he's like yeah uh, kind of like hey shout yeah. out to your most recent episode fucking Taylor and the shit pipe yo yeah <laughs> shout same out premise, to fucking man. T man he had a mouthful of shit I love that guy. and and condoms and cum oh god you guys have the same birthday I was just gonna say I just found out that we have the same birthday so I I told them I own a drink when I come to Jersey it's uh it's me Taylor from calling the shots LeBron James and Tiger Woods it's the day of champions baby 
Um, he, after, after he spit food in her mouth, it says Whipperman allegedly opened the woman's car door and continued to scream at her. His verbal attack stopped when another motorist intervened. He was arrested. In oh, dude, battery. if you open the door, like, okay. If you inadvert, like, okay. So when he, was he eating and then he was the yelling rules. and it spit or was it like, ang, 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 pff, I'm going to fuck in just mama bird some shit into your face. Let me just mama bird your fucking Honda Civic. You're. 2003 white honda civic hatchback i'm gonna fucking just spit all of my taco bell into your face and and, in and around your mouth region yes Um, i think he got out of his car or he was just like i'm I'm a fat fuck oh hey by the way blah 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 and then that's what i think i think he got out of his car he took a bite before he got out because he had something hot you know and he was like well fuck it i got it right there he took a bite he's walking to her car and he was chewing it and then she started getting like crazy. three fingers of french fries yes and then he was just fucking like you said like just talking and it just came out oh damn that's sick though yeah that's pretty gnarly um i would have let it slide and then he opened the door i would have fucking stabbed him well that's the Jersey you open if, yo, if you open my car door i'm stabbing you do you have the the just, capability I'm, of stabbing at any and all times in your car? Like, do you have I mean, do you have a you have an object to to carry that out? I mean, yeah, you've been in my car. I have been in your car. Yeah, I got knives. Places. You're a hard breaker too, dude. You scare the shit out of me when we're driving. You be like getting up on people's I mean, ass got- and then you fucking slam on the brakes and then get mad at them <laughs> for fucking stopping and shit. <laughs> Oh, dude, you're crazy. Yeah, you're crazy. I don't know what to tell you. I love it, dude. I love it when we're on the phone, and I could tell you're engaged in something else because I'm talking, and you're really not talking back to me, and then all of a sudden, I hear it. You fucking smash on the goddamn horn, and you're like, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I, fucking, I fucking knew it, man. I fucking knew it. Yeah. It's a good a time life. here in New Jersey. It is. Uh, but yeah, I will stab the fuck out of you. If you – look, we can get in an argument, and like I've had people – um, my car doors are locked at all times. So if you come and you pull on my handle, I'll unlock the door. Like I, I'll take my seatbelt off first, and then I'll unlock the door. I'm like, okay, go for it again. Like I'll, I'll start to engage with you, and like, oh, ha ha, you can't get me. Touch it. Go ahead, touch it. And then when they go to reach it, I'll fucking slam open the door, hit them right in their cock, come out, and I'll fucking stab them right under the ribs, and I'll leave them on the side of the fucking Garden State Parkway. The fuck out of my face, you touch my goddamn car. That is super specific. Fuck you and your fucking hamburgers that you just spit in my mouth. When did that happen? Because that is super specific, and I feel like you just unburdened your soul about a potential unsolved murder. Just like a hypothetical situation (laughs) that sounds super specific. Yes. You know, if you get like a double Whopper with cheese, and you are eating french fries on your way into my car, and you spit it onto my, <laughs> on your way Honda, my white Honda Civic hatchback. I will go to your car. I will pop your fucking tires so that you can't chase me. I will take your fucking food, and then on my way back, I'll stab you again. Hypothetically. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Hypothetically, yeah. I hope there is no uh, connection to this next story that I have because that might be a little uh, off-putting. But in Miami, a masturbating Florida man slugs an elderly man who asked him to stop. Do you have any experience with this? <sighs> Okay, so here's my question. Hit me. Where did, did this happen in Bravad? No, no, Miami, Damn. Miami Dade, Miami Dade. Oh, shout, shout out to Delvin. Shout out to them. Ocho Stinko and them. Pimp juice, baby. So shout a guy was Delvin jerking off. Yeah, shout out to Pimp juice. Uh, so a guy was jerking off in the park. Some dude told him to stop. No. So then he punched him with his cum hand. No park. A drunk man was masturbating in a Florida supermarket's parking lot. Yo, it goes down in the parking lots, dog. It does go down in the parking lots. It says, uh, did uh, I ever tell you my, I told you my Florida man uncle story, right? Mm, I want to say yes, but refresh me. Okay. We'll go on with this and then I'll tell my, okay. We'll look my back, uncle story. Me. Cause it's a, it's a legit Florida man story. <laughs> It says a and drunk it goes man down in a parking lot. A drunk man who was masturbating in a Florida supermarket's parking lot slugged an elderly man who told him to cut it out. The suspect was 39 year old Carrie Vandergriff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Who, <laughs> motherfucker? Carrie Vandergriff of the, the South Miami Dade Vandergriffs. <laughs> he was allegedly masturbating with his pants down in the Fresca Imas in Miami. Yo, Vandergriff is a mood, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's straight up, a, he wasn't even at Publix. He was at the Fresco Imas. That means fresh. Oh, that shit. means fresh and more. That it's was fresh a, and more. That's a bodega. That is a bodega. <laughs> uh, in Miami on Saturday afternoon, when the elderly man approached Mr. Vandergriff and told him to stop. Dude, I feel like he's on Gilligan's Island, dude. Yeah, so I have a question. Did his monocle fall out while he was furious? <laughs> masturbating behind like the dish detergent dog did you ever know that the fucking monopoly guy's real name was mr vandergriff 
<laughs> uh, fucking, and they they you they overused it. I think they know what they were fucking doing. It says Vandergriff then slugged him in the face, knocking him to the ground, and allegedly continued pummeling the man which while he hand, was on the ground. Which hand did he use? Dick hand. You know he used dick hand, Wh- dude. Straight dick hand. Dick hand. He That's fucking right. slugged him with the dick hand, man. So he gave him an STD and a black eye. Damn, he hit him with the Vaseline like post knockout. Like, <laughs> here you go. I'm put that shit on your face to stop the swelling. By the way, whoop whoop. He was arrested. I got before all up on my digits here it is <laughs> it says he was arrested on a number of charges including indecent exposure battery and disorderly toxic intoxication how the three of those things all came together for the trifecta is what is truly uh incredible about this particular story yeah vandegriff is a fucking mood dude i want to show you vandegriff <laughs> you should that's a fucking good does he have a monocle and a mustache can he i don't i don't uh no, he doesn't. Can we dress Vandergriff up like the Monopoly man? <laughs> uh, hold on. Do you me... think when they arrested him, they were like, do not pass go? <laughs> do not collect $200? <laughs> they, gave him, they didn't give him a get out of jail free card? Is that what you're They're saying? Like, Wash your fucking hands, and we're taking Pennsylvania Boulevard. His face, dude. I gotta sh- I'm sharing my screen with you. That's Mr. Vandergriff. Look at fucking Vandergriff. There Damn, is. son. <laughs> Tell me, who does he look like to you? He looks like someone who has blue balls. <laughs> well, he, he didn't get to finish, dude. Yeah, I mean, uh, he actually kind of looks like Adam Gase. I'm not going to lie to you. He does not look like Adam Gase. No, he doesn't. Oh, really? Pull up a picture of Adam Gase. And he was my head fucking... coach fucking two years ago. I know what he looks like. I mean, that's not him. He looks, that's him. He looks like um, he looks like somebody. I originally told you he looked like somebody from the Bash Brothers on Netflix, but it's not quite that. I can't put my thinking. My Yo, he most certainly looks like the Bat Boy for the Bash Brothers. The Bat Boy. <laughs> like, he's definitely the guy who gets them the sauce. You know? <laughs> Shout out to you, Fresco and Moss. Carrie yeah, Van Der Fresco and Moss has got that sauce, Van Der Bish. What's his name? Van Der Griff. Van Der Griff is a Van Der Griff of the South Miami Dade Van Der Griffs. Ah, yes. It's a prestigious bloodline. Of <laughs> furious public masturbators. <laughs> Adam, what was the last time you got into a physical altercation like that? Did you hit somebody with dick hands? At, uh, at once well, I mean, I jerked off last night, but it wasn't in public, and cool. it was on Snapchat, so technically public. Oh, and some sort of physical altercation in or around a bodega involving a Vandergriff. Why well, it doesn't uh, have to be that? I don't specific. know that I say I could say <laughs> that I have before done that. You look like uh, the kind of guy that was in a lot of fights growing up i was a lot of yeah. scraps i'm a scrapper yeah yeah i get down uh the the moose man and i uh we've been shout we've out been to in moose. A, yeah shout out to big moose we Creatures we've been in um, numerous yeah we've been in uh numerous altercations but yeah can i it, it's it's a lot it's a former life i don't do that anymore um, well yeah that's why i asked because all this stuff it's is more statute of limitations. it's more the public it's more the public masturbation less of the fighting kind of thing yeah you know can I share my uncle's story? Oh, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. I, th- I thought okay. you might have a fucking quasi Florida man story, but if you want to deflect to your uncle, that's fine. We can we can talk about your uncle. Oh, no, no, no. It's just like so ridiculously Florida man that if you had a podcast at the time this happened, you probably would have mentioned it. I promise you it's, it's just <laughs> that Florida man. So uh, I want to say Broward County. Okay. Uh, Florida man. 65, one Richard Simmons, 65, 115. Hold on. on. Richard Simmons? Adam Simmons. Richard Simmons? Uh, Yes. Like the workout guy? My my uncle Rich. Uh, Shut the fuck up. His name is not Richard Simmons. I promise you. Shut the Uh, fuck up, dude. Doggy, doggy, it it gets better. (laughs) It gets much better. Okay. 65, 115. Okay. Imagine (laughs) real life Woody from toy story okay dresses like a cowboy okay okay? has ptsd from uh vietnam wears giant belt buckles like gigantic belt buckles cowboy boots the whole nine even when he was living in new jersey fucking nuts okay he was just like weird he was always like moving around like this and he's like oh hey what's up adam how are you uh don't tell your parents that i'm leaving i'll see you later and he taught me an irish goodbye so you know he would just like fast as fuck boy i'm out of here so anyhow uh he moves down to florida to be with the girl that he loves late in life as one does as one does heard that so she likes uh a methamphetamine she's a fan of the the crystal as one is 
right? As one is. <laughs> this uh, all makes sense so, so far. Right. Long story short, this human and my uncle, uh, 65115 Richard Simmons of Monmouth County, New Jersey, recently lo- relocated to uh, Broward County, Florida. Shout out to Hollywood and them. Mm-hmm. Uh, are in the parking lot of a Walmart buying some meth. Times is tough, okay? Girlfriend tries to steal said meth. Uncle Rich pulls out a Glock and busts that bitch in the face. No. And shoot, hits her with that fucking Jody B. Oh, right, no. Right on the fucking side of her head and then takes the meth, right? Then he drives her to the hospital. Then he gets arrested. And then she drops the charges. Because she quote, because it's true love, dude. Because she quote loves him and really loves meth. <laughs> I like how you're writing this as if it were a news outlet yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, I listen to the show. <laughs> so that's my uncle Rich. I can't uh, believe you have a fucking uncle Richard Simmons, and you've I never do. said that. How is that I not do. fucking? You lead with that. You're like two rings, dude. You keep these fucking things in your back pocket. No, a no, hundred episodes like two rings, in, dog. I talk, dude. A hundred episodes I, I in, I find out you have a fucking cars. uncle Simmons. No, I, I ain't got electric cars that be lighting motherfuckers' wallets on fire and shit. <laughs> this ain't nineteen forty two fucking Batman. <laughs> fucking Alfred and them driving around <laughs> eating fucking popcorn at the drive-in movie theater and shit. Yeah, ain't none of that. Well, you still got a fucking Uncle Richard Simmons that you've been keeping from me for well over a year, dude. Yeah, he straight up Jody beat that bitch and right in her face, too. That's hard. Yeah. That's, that's, that's Jersey hard, dude. Yeah, dude. He was like, I'm sorry. Which one of us had the meth? And she was like, <laughs> uh, Richie. He was like, uh-uh, motherfucker. It's a blue light special. <laughs> he said, ah, this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, huh. hey. yeah, yeah. So shout out to uncle rich. He, uh, he later died of cancer in jail. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was a couple of years ago though. But, uh, that was, that was my man's when I was a kid, he used to give me $20 all the time to like, hold cause he like, form and shit. he had PTSD and he hated being around family members. And I would always like, just see him and he would be like, don't tell anybody here, have some money. And I was like, yo, you're the best. <laughs> Yo, you're the best. Yeah. You're not even going to remember this shit in 20 minutes, and I'm going to get That's another right. fucking 20. Yeah, thanks for that 20, dude. I appreciate that. My first 100 I collected, it was like over the holidays or whatever. It was like uh, my parents' anniversary, Christmas, Thanksgiving, and then like one or two other things. And I got $20 like of my, my uncle's birthday and shit. We were doing like a lot. When I was a kid, I was like 10 years old. Right. And my Uncle Rich would just show up and be like, hey, Adam, what's up there, young blah, 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 blah. All y- long and lanky and shit. Uh, <laughs> would you say six, six what? He's 6'5", 115. Jesus He's literally Christ, the human dude. encapsulation of Woody, the fucking cowboy from He's like the Toy white minute bowl. He's like, ah, I got a snake in my boot. I'm like, uh, <laughs> Someone a poison or the a water clock? hole. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, if you lift up his left foot, it just says meth instead of Andy with a backwards D. Because that's who um, owns him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So I made my first hundred uh, from him sneaking him out of the house. I would like go and be like, hey, everyone, pay attention to me. I've got a funny joke to tell. And everyone would turn around and he would be like, Phew. that's awesome. Just like click clack his way out of there. So he would give me 20 bucks. I can totally relate to that. Yeah. Because I get a little uncomfortable in those gatherings as well. So, uh, yeah, I can totally relate to that. Yeah, that's, by the way, going to be my move uh, from this point forward. Because I am the drunk uncle at family get-togethers and shit. I'm going to be like, I'm going to leave $20 in the mailbox, distract them, and then go out and get that $20. Peace the fuck out. See you at Christmas. That's the way to do it, man. Yeah. Hey, I got one more fucked up story for you. Oh, yeah. Just one more. I forgot more. we weren't just having a conversation. Oh, well, we, well, we are. Let me, hit, let me hit this, though, because I'm starting to get to that break point, and uh, I have to go pee-pee. Oh, <laughs> well, that iced coffee you were drinking. Seminole County. Florida man was arrested after he, what, broke into a school and spread feces and cake frosting all over. I'm sorry. In which order, and was it chocolate frosting? <laughs> well, the the photo that I saw, he was uh, it was his mugshot side by side with a, a container of funfetti. <laughs> so I don't know if that's accurate or if that's just He's out here shitting funfetti. <laughs> Surveillance footage at Bear Lake Elementary School shows the man identified as 25-year-old Christian Dominic Shea jumping a fence of the property around 2 a.m. Deputies found desks, chairs, and drawers of a classroom covered in cake frosting. There was also a trail of frosting-covered footprints on the floor. I don't know how this this ties together. It says there was an open can of frosting in the trash can alongside a child's sweatshirt that was covered in both frosting and feces. Uh, Oh, he's got your shit on kids? 
Mm-hmm. Well, no, it was two in the morning. I mean, what do you think? Oh, wait, the child sweatshirt. All... No, he yeah. found it, dude. He got the shits when he broke into the school, and they just took what was there, dude. You've had shit stories, okay? I know you know what it, you got to grab what you got near you. Yeah, but I ain't put my butthole in a fucking elementary school. <laughs> Good. <laughs> there were also feces you know? covered hand. There's feces covered hand and footprints on a window ledge where the Florida man broke in. Feces covered hand and footprints. Jesus Christ, dude! A stapler was found to be placed inside a toilet, and feces slash frosting covered TV remote was in the bathroom outside the okay, school. Okay, so like, I need. <laughs> There's I no need context, more details. dude. There's no context. It says outside okay, the school so deputies on, discovered on. a laptop build, in the trash with a soiled pair of underwear. Let's build a here. Um, there's a stapler that's covered in funfetti in the toilet. There's a TV remote that's covered in both, shit. Both, both of them. Feces slash frosting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Shitty um, funfetti. <laughs> so I got a question. I hopefully Do have you the think answer. Think it was live frosting, or he ate the frosting and then shit the frosting out. I think it was live. I think he had got a case of the fucking uh, the the slippy poops while he was breaking and entering. Hate a case of the slippy poops. Why was he breaking into the school? Who, who fucking knows, man? To steal funfetti? To steal something, probably. It, it says outside the school they found a laptop. They discovered a laptop in the trash and a soiled pair of underwear hanging from the building. So he ran that shit up like salute your shorts, dude. He shit himself and then ran it up the flat. Yo, shout out to donkey lips in them. (laughs) Employees at the school told deputies they recognized the Florida man from previous incidents at the school. He was arrested on charges of burglary, petty theft, property damage, and indecent exposure. But no one was there to fucking be exposed. Nobody was there to be exposed. But, I mean, he shit and made cake all over the school, dude. Those kids came in the next morning and there was shit and cake everywhere. They didn't know what to do. Sounds like an afternoon. Shit and cake together. It's a party. Together. Now all those kids, that because they're growing up in today's day and age, they're all soft and they all have PTSD now. And every year on their birthday, from now going forward, they're going to see a cake and they're going to shit themselves. That's why you should get apple pie on your birthday and don't be a bitch. I've never heard that before. Do you really get pie on your birthday? I mean, every four years, my birthday's on Thanksgiving, so I just get apple pie on my birthday. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, my birthday's November 23rd, not in fucking August. It was just your uh, birthday. I felt so bad, too, because I legit <laughs> thought your birthday was in August. <laughs> and then I thought to myself, I'm like, I don't know if I told you anything for that, dude. August came and went. I don't know if I said anything to you. Uh, yeah, so normally when uh, Donald Trump's not the president, it's the third week of fucking November. This week, this year, for whatever reason, they made it the fourth week of fucking November. I think it's um, just the last Thursday, right? No, it's always the third Thursday. Oh. Um, Did he do that? Ah, he just like fucking moved it for whatever reason. Who fucking knows? It's because they didn't want... It's something with the fucking kids and Epstein and fucking poop and icing and the Clintons and the fucking it's reptilians. Connected. It was all this. It's all connected. It's all in there somewhere. They should make Thanksgiving um, uh, 9-11. No, they be should, all thankful they, they for fucking they free fall that. speed, Tower 7. They shouldn't do that, though. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because... It's a goddamn national holiday. Black Friday, shout out. Um, speaking of Thanksgiving, you told me something about your dad. You told me to remind you about your dad. Oh, yeah. So uh, my dad and I are apparently the same person, and we did not realize it until yesterday. It just his interactions with other humans, I'm like, oh, my God. He knows that oh you my came God, from that- him, though? You, what? Kind of, you kind of are the same human? Like, you came from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, but like he, we, neither one of us knew how exact we were together like we're we like we're sighing at like my mom would come in the kitchen and be like do you guys need help with anything be like no (sighs) like in unison i'm like (laughs) oh oh my god hey old man i get you now yeah no i fucking (laughs) get it dude my bad sorry i was a shit bag of a kid but he was like uh hey uh how uh how are things you know which is totally a question that i ask everyone when i don't want to fucking talk to them and I was like, well, um, uh, really? the girl, really I, bad. the girl, yeah, the girl I wanted to get engaged to just left me, took my dog. My house is completely empty. All my cool shit's gone. My family pet just died tragically and, uh, they're cutting hours at work, dad. And he goes, oh, all right. Well, if you're going to kill yourself, don't do it around the holidays. You don't want to feed into that stereotype. So yeah, I went, I went. <laughs> so like, I guess March then. And he goes, ah, it's Bobby's birthday. That would be rude. I'm like. All right, see you at my funeral in June. He goes, ah, it's my birthday. I was like, fuck. All right, July. He goes, America. And I'm like, God damn it. All right, fine. I guess I won't kill myself. And he goes, yeah, it sucks to suck, doesn't it? And then we cheers wine and just fucking kept moving. I was like, Jesus it's Christ. It's like looking into a fucking mirror. 
Holidays, ho- holidays at the Simmons house. It's, I, like beside myself, I was like, "Yo, this is like this all makes sense." Bobby Light didn't then, dose anybody, I, did he? What'd you say? Bobby Light didn't dose anybody, did he? Bobby Light's always dosing people. Well, I mean, like at Thanksgiving. Yeah. And then going, ah, oh, it's just the trip to fan. Don't worry about no, it. No, my parents. My parents at this point, they know. <laughs> Bobby Light. If Bobby Light makes the mashed potatoes. Everyone's going to fucking sleep at 4 p.m. and watching fucking Netflix. At least they weren't watching you the fucking the- Cowboys. Yeah, that's true. That was a bad fucking game. Told you, dude. I told you beforehand. I went to bed winning thirty-seven dollars or something on DraftKings, and I woke up winning zero. Shout out to Drew Brees and Suck. them. Fucking nerd. Uh, well, so what'd you get for trusting Drew Brees? I guess I didn't trust him. I trusted his teammates. Anyway, and you fucked up. Let's take I a break. Tell you. Let me go pee pee. After these messages, we'll be right back. Hey, Slackers, I'm Matt. And I'm Jesse. We host American Slacker, the show that keeps you updated on all of the weirdest news around the globe, along with what's going on in the world of Xbox, music and movie suggestions, and fun interactive games. Every other week, we bring on interesting guests from all walks of life, from filmmakers to musicians, funeral directors to small business owners, and even Jeff Goldblum. What? No, we never got Goldblum, man. Oh, a man can dream, can't he? American Slacker Podcast. New episodes every Wednesday. Available on Spotify, iTunes, and all of your smart devices. Or anywhere else, you know, you might happen to cop a podcast. They're downloading MP3s, not buying an eighth. I'm shutting this shit down. That's it. There you go. Hi, this is Jason Almy. And I'm Samuel L. Jackson, you punk ass bitch we're from shit happens when you party naked podcast and you listen to hashtag no offense motherfuckers they're from florida enough is enough i've had it with these motherfucking alligators in this motherfucking trailer park oh i hate gators the gators suck fuck florida go dogs that's the triple true dog what do you what did you say you're doing living my best life hey shout out to you baby you know you guys have a lot to do with that man what who i got a fucking i got a fucking ship to lead the fucking goddamn inner circle yo I gotta get back into my shit. Yeah, yeah. I he could said, tell swiping on Bumble. <laughs> um, I could tell that uh, some things might have been amiss because uh, we haven't been as active as we're known for. Ooh, who is that? I don't know. Her name is Chrissy. She's twenty eight. She's down to earth. Loves to laugh and hanging out with friends and family. Uh, also, she's got glittery eyebrows, so she's gonna get and purple hair. Sweaty. Yeah, she does have purple hair. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're not putting out the fucking kind of quality content that we fucking should be god fucking damn it and it's got a lot to do with one and or three of us getting fucking lazy as shit and becoming complacent and allowing the past uh, achievements hang a little too long we're hanging the jerseys a little too long and we fucking forgot who the fuck we were so now it's time to fucking course correct right the ship and remind the motherfuckers who the motherfuckers are you know what i mean hey i don't even know what laurels are so i can't rest on them baby let's go i heard that but you know a lot of people are fucking down and out and fucking doing whatever and you know some numbers have been down because certain apps haven't been fucking popping but it's not like we're dead it's not like we're not fucking still putting out quality content and still fucking killing the game and it's not like every time we fucking do something that like reverberates around the the tight circle that you know we we run in uh in this indie podcast thing that we got um Mm -hmm. we we still like to carry ourselves as bad motherfuckers so i would like to get right the fuck back to that uh just because riley thinks he's cute because he bought a fucking house and he's got his fucking fake producer living upstairs banging whatever (laughs) fucking sloth that human is fucking currently fucking uh what's the word fucking whatever with. fucking bin bin is fucking above riley's head and riley's drinking beer and fucking hunters in maine and fucking almy's having a kid and chrissy wants to fucking record podcast and joe b is like fucking changing his room around and you know you and dutchy are fucking tr- having hard times trying to find fucking time to record and bobby and i are fucking running around being fucking assholes just because kaz and fucking dj century are out in california wrestling fucking kangaroos and fucking scorpions and them and fucking mikey and producer nick and the one-armed ninja are out here fucking slinging dick doesn't mean that we all can't fucking sling dick you know what i mean yeah man it's time for us to get our fucking shit back together and it starts with tonight with what may or may not be happening this evening and then we're gonna just ride that fucking wave out into fucking february and then we're all gonna fucking show everyone our dicks yes potentially (laughs) 
<laughs> I mean, yeah. I, as a matter of speaking. Yeah, no. And I'm, also, we're going to send dick pics. I'm totally with that, man, because like, you know, like I said, we've just all had real life shit going on. And I mean, this, I've been on record saying that this is real life. You know, I'm here for this shit. You know, I am doing this with the, the hopes of it becoming more and more real. I mean, I am collecting a fucking paycheck on this, just not enough to live off of. So, I mean, like yeah. we're building, we're in your I mean, three. you've made more money podcasting than anyone else we know, so. I always draw a lot of parallels between uh, podcasting and stand-up comedy, and that's probably because I listen to a lot of stand-up comedians' podcast, you know, and they talk about their their journey through podcasting and open mics, and it took this long to suck, and I'm you got to stick with it, and this and that. And I mean, we're in that suck part, you know? We're in the first three fucking years, you know? You know, it's we're potentially just open micers or, or at the the best paid regulars. You know, right. if you want to make a comparison, but I mean, we're gonna stick at it. And we're gonna we're gonna be there when the fucking dust settles. Because I tell you what, dude, a hundred podcasts start and a hundred podcasts quit every day, and we haven't been one of them. So I mean, we're doing something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was um I was doing an interview with uh, John McCarthy from the Postmodern Patriot Podcast, and he said that eighty five percent of podcasts don't make it past like their seventh episode or their eighth episode seven. or something like that yeah seven that's the one. crazy well because everybody that's... thinks well that idiot can do it so why can't i and then you get on and you start doing it and you realize that there's all kinds of fucking back work you know associated with it that yeah. you didn't account for yeah and a conversation doesn't always just happen like that there that have been too. times where you and i have had a conversation it's like five minutes of silence <laughs> we're like what the fuck well, I mean, I mean, like, oh yeah, hey, do you remember that time my uncle shot his fucking girlfriend in the face with a bag of meth? Like, pew, 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 pew. that my, shit doesn't my, always my happen. Uncle Richard you know what I mean? Simmons, I can't get over that, dude. My uncle fucking Richard Simmons, because he's yeah. in my mind, he's wearing the fucking shorts and he's got the hair. No, I'm telling you, he was dressed like a fucking cowboy <laughs> from his fucking tits to his toes, dog, at all times. That's good too. That's good too. Sean Br- Sean Bradley as a cowboy. I can yeah. I can see that. But um no, I mean it happens with Dutch and I too. I mean that's why I mean last week we we had kind of like the shortest episode in the history of HT Nos because I mean like sometimes we just don't have the juice. You know, and I mean, like, we, we're regular ass people. We're not fucking. Yeah. I, you know what? And that reminds me, I got into, I got into some shit. Well, kind of got into some shit. I didn't get anyone to reply to me, but there was a bunch of salty ass motherfuckers on Twitter last night pointing out every goddamn flaw from podcasters. Well, I'm going to turn it off if they do this, and I'm going to turn it off if they say this, and oh my god, they don't do this and they don't do that, and I'm like, you're holding us to the fucking regard, the same like standard in the same regard of professional polished ass. Guys that do this, like personalities, entertainers. I'm a dude that fucking sells beer during the day, and at nighttime, I moonlight on the internet as a fucking, you know, quasi As a, as a judge for uh, the fucking round table. <laughs> I'm not a judge. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a performer, motherfucker. I'll Aren't see you, you in though? the finals. Aren't you, though? I'm waiting. Hey, I'm waiting on my fucking... My, my whoever's going to challenge me because I'm just it's sitting, me I'm motherfucker sitting I'm sitting there I'm I, fucking I here know, I'm ready I, I have a blueprint to your mind though I already know how to fucking beat you do you yes I'm gonna show I know how to shake the mushroom. fuck out of you dude that's fine I'll get you fucking shook dog <laughs> promise you promise you dude I'm a different I'm a different person I'm a different dog. person than I was dog dog I'm telling you I'm telling dog. you dude dog I am a different breed okay there you, is nothing. No, no you're saying that as you, you can ever was. say you're saying or as you do. Ever was. Dog, okay, look, you see me on that fucking show. It's not me. I I am blank behind here, and it's a million different fucking reptilian robots with fucking chainsaws for hands and laser <laughs> eyes, just fucking driving the boat. Dog, is it We're like just Will Ferrell fucking and old weird school? shit? He had to do yeah, the debate. It. He was like, I'm just, uh, yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what, happened? <laughs> what happened? I blacked out. Yeah, yeah, every time. Every single fucking answer. I just, I go fucking Zen. I'm literally legit fucking meditating during every single fucking question. If you watch the videos back, it's always my hands on my sides, just fucking listening, paying attention. And then something like, uh, Jesus, that's my answer. We'll just fucking come out. And then it's just like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm, there's no way. There's literally no fucking way that you or anyone else is going to fucking beat me. I'm coming for the fucking chip. I'm going to fucking That's wear sad. it around my waist. That's 24 sad. hours a fucking day. I'm going to shower sad. with it. Randy, make it waterproof, <laughs> motherfucker, because I'm going to wear it to work. I need it to be at least uh, malleable to about 800 degrees because I stand in front of a 700 degree oven at all times. And then when I come home, I'm going to shower. I'm going to have a fucking it's going to be it's going to kind of riveted into my fucking hips. It's going to be fucking fantastic i'm gonna be shirtless i'm gonna wear a fucking uh an opium robe it's gonna be 
fucking hell on earth for you and John Bukaki and fucking Man Brain, whoever else they want to fucking put in front of me, motherfucker. I'm going to eat you all goddamn alive, bitch. Ass first, like a fucking Wolverine. That said, I'm the only one waiting in the finals right now, so suck my dick from the back. That's right. Gang member. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, look, hey, <laughs> we all know that uh, I would have been there, but circumstances being what they are. Yeah, no, I the I internet did. happened or the, whatever. The internet did happen because the internet. Yeah. So yeah, but we're working on some some extra shit too, as far as that goes too. We want to bring our own game. I mean, nothing against the the civilized creatures or, or what Randy's got going on over there because I mean like I'm very public in my love for the round table, but we're gonna we're working on our own inner I circle. Hate those guys. Oh wait, are we still recording? Yes. Yes, uh, we're working on our own inner circle game of some Randy. sort. I, I, I don't even think ours is going to be like super competition based like that. You know, ours is going to be more like it's not it's definitely not going to be up to a judge. We're going to have fucking point values, and if you didn't get the fucking number the yeah. highest, then you're going to lose. Right? Yeah, that's right. There's no fucking. There's no choice. Like it's just it's cut and dry. It's, it's right or wrong, it's baby. Like, right or wrong. Yeah, it's on right or, or wrong. One or zero. There's no subjectiveness about is subjectiveness. A word. It is now, dude. Yeah heard that um but yeah i mean i guess we can you want to mention it now you want to talk about it now sure i mean yeah game show we're gonna we're gonna take it for a test drive next week and and kind of work out the bugs and see how it goes and then we'll hopefully launch it after the first of the year don't know what it's gonna be called don't know anything really about it but but we know that two teams of three will get together and play a a predetermined fucking game against each other and be it categories or fucking pictograms or fucking Jeopardy or fucking Wheel of Fortune or wh- whatever the fuck it is. Uh, we're we're going to be playing some goddamn games and uh, it's going to be fun. And then we're going to have like a championship round and then it's going to be dope. Hosted by so, our own inner, inner circle, fantastic shit talker, Jason Almy himself. Yeah, that's right. The goddamn Alec Trebek of fucking shit talking. Should we wake him wear uh, a suit? Like, is this going to yeah, be live stream? Yeah, we should. And then hopefully he gets cancer and dies just like Alex Trebek. Wow. Um, what? I don't want Almy to die. Do you want Alex Trebek to die? If I had to choose, gun to my head, Alex I would Trebek choose, or Jason I would, Almy, I would, obvious, yeah. I want Alex Trebek to live. No. <laughs> yeah. What has he ever done to provide for you? I mean, he's... Jason Almy uh, gave me a fucking futon to sleep on. That's cute. Uh, I mean, Alex Trebek has been the king mustachio for a millennia. Uh, he's actually a wizard. They make him cut his beard off every night. It grows back like he looks like Gandalf at all times. Not only that, he knows way more than Jason Almy. Not according to Jason Almy, but he definitely knows more than Jason Almy. And I'm pretty sure that he snuck onto the Wheel of Fortune set and fucked Vanna White behind that little turn wall with the fucking letters on it. Is I that think, true? I think he did that. I mean, he's the Burt Reynolds of game shows, isn't he? No. Yeah. He's like, I'd like for you to answer it in the form of a question. No. She's like, no. oh, what is my anal virginity? Blam. And he's like, uh huh. I right. respectfully disagree. No, you're wrong. He's no good. Fuck you. <laughs> you like Pat Sajak in them? Me, no, dude. Were you like fucking Wayne Brady in them? Steve Harvey, Family Feud. Oh, I fucks with some Steve Harvey. Yeah. Yo, Steve Harvey's doneness with white people on Family Feud is a fucking mood. <laughs> Every time they say, like, eating ass, he's like, what? (gasps) He show me eating ass. Why did you think that was going to be on the board? What is wrong with you? Y'all need Jesus. Don't you even know that that's your mama right next to you? Yeah. (laughs) How dare you? And then, like, the mom says, like, sucking dick. And she's like, oh, mama, I love you. Mm, 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 This is my girl right here. I'm like, (laughs) Steve Harvey, you are going to get me too'd so So fast. fast. Yep. Uh, I actually... I liked Family Feud uh, with uh, Louis Anderson, too. I missed that. It was that. good. That was a time of my life where I I didn't see that show. Oh. I remember um, the old motherfucker from way back, and then I remember Steve Harvey. Oh, see, Louis Anderson was like, Arr! show me Captain Crunch. Uh, I had sound bites on my old computer uh, back when I was in college of just Louis Anderson yelling food names from the Family Feud. <laughs> he was like, what is tuna casserole? <laughs> Like, Why would you and I would have just drop that? them all. The, I don't know, dude. We've met, you know. You think There's this no is new? Reason. This is not new, dog. There's no good reason to have any of that. Of hey, course there is. You know what, though? Shout out to Louis Anderson's teeth, though, man. Yo, dude, they're fucking. Yeah, 
He's got Gary Busey's fucking dentist. He has to. <laughs> Fuck the Buseys. I told you that before. <laughs> <laughs> um but i mean that being said we will have like a family feud we'll have a jeopardy we'll have a fucking wheel of fortune shit like that two teams of three or three teams of two i'm not sure which do you, which we're gonna do yet uh maybe we'll switch it up every once in a while but uh we're gonna do you know bracket style championship rounds and stuff like that it's gonna be a good fucking time man and almy i mean although he is gonna tragically die of cancer at the <laughs> age of 64 like alex trebek rest in peace to alex trebek um, I almost said Wayne Brady, and I don't want to put that hate on Wayne Brady. And then I almost said Pat Sajak again because I'm intoxicated. But it's gonna be it's gonna be really fucking fun, and it's gonna be really good. And a lot of people have been talking about like, oh, they want to do like a game show podcast. Oh, that's cute. How long have you been talking about it? You want to do it, or do you not want to do it? So do us a favor, send in what your fucking team is, and then maybe if Watsky is nice enough, he will let you on our show. Why am I the gatekeeper? Um, because you're a gatekeeper. Is it because you're so abrasive that there needs to be a buffer between you and the fucking general public? Is that what my uh-huh. am I like your handler? Is that what my my role no. is here? No, but you are like you're definitely the fucking screen. A, a better <laughs> human interactor. Cuz I'll I say stuff fucking... like I hope Jason Almy dies of cancer and Jason Almy knows that I'm joking and then everyone's going to be like, "How could you say that? My great aunt Goldfish's neighbor died of cancer. You're so mean. How dare you unfollow? Shut up. I'm going to fucking die of cancer, bitch. Suck a fucking dick. Whew. Goes to the doctor, gets cancer. Whew. Damn. Dies tragically at a young age. Is it warm single here? Single and without a dog. Um, <laughs> any fucking way. Any uh, fucking yeah, way. Yeah, I mean, no, people like you. Uh, they don't like me. Bullshit, because they dude. Think that You've been out of the game too long, that- dude. You've been out of the mix, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking Jar Jar Banks out there, dude. I'm fucking public enemy number two. It's Jar Jar Banks nah. and then it's me, okay? <laughs> it's, well, it's no. because I've been out of the fucking spotlight. Exactly. I'm, I'm here. Shift me I'm down here to, to three. Take that fucking shine back, Shift baby. Shift me down to three, um, motherfucker. But yeah, uh, I forgot the point I was going to say. Oh, yeah. No, people like you because the character that I play in the podcast world is uh, apparently not a character to anyone who plays fucking characters on their show. Shout out to voices in them. But, you know, I say a lot of really fucking silly stupid shit but i'm just like a fucking hippy dippy bullshitter that like just wants to hug you and see you fucking flourish at all times that's who i am like as a person and then when i get behind the mic and bobby moore gets me all fucking geeked yes. up and shit i start talking about sucking my dick he has that effect on people i mean because he he has Dude, that effect on, on me fucking every single person yeah that's why you know what yeah i'm gonna get i'm gonna get in touch with him and we're gonna we're gonna iron out a date because i'm gonna get him on here sans adam and we're gonna we're gonna do our thing last time i had him on a podcast was on sports and he showed up in a robe fucking bare chested titty meat hanging out sitting there rolling a fucking blunt dude that's how he showed yeah, up that's the fucking mood in a fucking robe just just wild chest meat hanging out yeah how do you think i'm showing up tonight for fucking fuller circle tonight bitch that's in like two hours <laughs> oh yeah but, I gotta go get my robe on. Get your robe on, dude. Um, no, that but to, is the fucking mood, by the way. That is the mood, man. That is you better bring. You know what? Should we do a fucking robe photo shoot when everyone's here? Uh, I don't own one, so if you can provide, I mean, one, we can get one. Yeah, if you can provide one. Yeah, for sure. Cool. It'll have a dragon and a phoenix fighting on, it, and you'll look like a fucking opium salesman. But <laughs> or Will Ferrell and fucking wedding crashers. <laughs> <laughs> I have that exact robe, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Yell it. Ah! Bobby Light, the, meat. the meatloaf. I want you it. Never know what you're doing back there. <laughs> uh, no, what's to tie a bow on this, man? Um, I appreciate you stepping in. Dutchie's got family in town, and she is out doing the family thing. And I happened to get home from work a little early today, so you swooped in and saved the episode this week because I was going to go greatest hit style, and you said no, sir. Uh, I no. will not allow that. No. Um, All- Fire content at all times, and even though I'm not fire content, we need new fucking content constantly. There's no, f- we're not resting on our fucking laurels anymore. I don't give a friggity fuck. I already Dude, told you, you, I don't even it. know what a laurel is, dog. Bro, fuck them. Um, <laughs> if you got to call up fucking Adam and Two Rings and get their fucking large asses to fucking 
meet the max capacity weight for your fucking house. Get those two motherfuckers at your goddamn dinner table and sit them down, put some fucking microphones and some beers in front of them. Whatever we got to fucking do to put out new fucking content at all times, we will fucking do. So that being said, if anyone needs fucking new content and does not mind me cursing on their podcast, get fucking at me. Earth to Adam with underscores everywhere. Motherfucker. I've, I've, I've been around, I know. Um, but I did want to, it's been a while. You know, I try to space you guys out. And uh, I think the last time you and uh, uh, Robert were on the show was around like May or June. So, I mean, you were coming up wow. do any fucking way and i wow. didn't know if i wanted to have you guys together or separate so then you just made the fucking mind no. up for me we're, we're doing this yeah you gotta thing. you gotta get bobby Moore. bobby Moore is a fucking national treasure well i want to hear bobby's perspective i, I don't want to hear the simmons and Moore story from adam simmons because i've heard that story before and it's a good story but i want to hear it from bobby i want to hear the bobby perspective of yeah. this okay yeah. And he's he's going to give me a different uh, a different tone. I I think I think it's not going to go the way that it goes when Adam tells a story. It's true. So I can't wait for that. But um, I did want to talk to you anyway, just because I mean you've had some shit going on, and we are coming back with uh, with a bullet with the IC. We got big shit coming up. We got the big weekend in Jersey that we've been teasing. Uh, San PC two hundred Inner Thank Circle you. anniversary one year one year in the fucking books from the mutiny. Uh, super wait. duper bowl Purple glazed donuts, All fucking that pork roll and cheese sandwiches, fucking pizzas. Shit. We, we're we're doing it's Black Friday. We're doing the inaugural Fuller Circle episode tonight. Are, are we live streaming that, or is that just going to be we're going to record it? I don't know. Let's fucking play it do by it ear, all. baby. We'll play it by yeah. ear. That's coming to you soon. We got a lot of shit coming. We got a lot of moving parts happening, and uh, you know it's, it's exciting. It's exciting to get the uh, get the spirit back, as it were. So that said, tell Adam. Everybody knows, but where can they find you? Earth to Adam, <laughs> absolutely everywhere. <laughs> next, uh, next to that, <laughs> to that. Uh, Earth to Adam, absolutely everywhere on all social media. You can go to sandpc.bigcartel.com. You can buy some motherfucking t-shirts on Deckington. <laughs> uh, shout out to Bobby Moore. You can go to Bobby D. Moore Official or Bobby D. Moore Sand PC. Find him and uh, don't slide into his DMs. That being said, Bobby Moore, I am contractually obligated by one Robert D. Moore to mention that my DMs are in fact open. <sighs> Fuck my life. <laughs> but when you sign up for something, you got to fucking sign up for something. Hey, full send, right? Full send. Yeah, we're going fucking full send, daddy. Uh, go to Simmonsamore.com. Go to innercirclepn.com uh, and find all of the content that everyone in the inner circle puts out. That's Failing Hollywood. Um, that's the Hood Diner. That's Riley and the Potato Boys. That's the Joby Show. That's Schweipen. That's HTNOS. And that's Sam P N C. Uh, what a fucking Chrissy call us on fucking Salmon PC, uh, the number one deadliest catch podcast <laughs> east of the fucking Mississippi. We're the River deadliest catch the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you'll be talking about mad offshore lo- longshoremen and mad offshore fishermen. <laughs> 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 fucking Salmon PC. Oh, dude, they were on one. If you if you don't listen to Salmon oh, PC, we- at least go listen to the newest one because it's fucking it's great. It's a lot of fucking fun, dude. But you should. Uh, be thank you. To. Yeah, man. Always. Thanks. Thank for, you for uh, fucking having in. me on, and thank you for fucking sticking around and fucking you know being being my brother in this fucking podcast Aww. thing man it's it's tough and life is fucking hard but um when you're as fucking ridiculous as us if you don't fucking go full send then you're gonna fucking die tragically of cancer at the age of 44 or whatever the fuck however old uh alex trebek is he is much older than 44 i promise i mean he's 700 <laughs> years old he's a fucking wizard but Dude, i don't you. know what he told the government what his what his digital age was yeah we didn't even fucking touch that we didn't even get into any of that shit dude fucking epstein didn't kill himself i thought that was what we were gonna dominate i mean how much life. how much fucking time do you have dude <laughs> Dude, I tell everybody, I was like, if you go back and you hit my text messages and you look at my conversation with Adam Simmons from about three weeks ago, it is literally Epstein meme, Epstein meme, Epstein meme, yep, fucking yep, skull, yep, Epstein meme, yep, Epstein meme, yep, Epstein meme. Yep, Epstein meme. Yep, <laughs> Yep. But they, dude, they dried up though. The man. mecha the mecha black cube, mecha black cube, uh-huh, uh-huh. cubes, cubes, cubes. Yeah. They dried up though, yeah. man, and that was sad. That was my favorite thing for a while because, like, towards the end, they were getting super creative because they were scraping the bottle, bottom of the barrel, dude. Well, what's super good about that is that you kind of feel vilified. You're like you're you're vindicated, you know, when um when one of your silly conspiracy theories just kind of pop up and they're just like, 
Uh, so the Clintons are pedophiles and they kill people often. Like, so like a lot of people, like the Clintons have fucking killed the shit out of a lot of people. Remember a couple of years ago, that dude was just found like in front of his house shot and nothing was stolen from him. And he had like just written some scathing report about the fucking Clintons that could have got them caught as fucking in like the Kings of the fucking pedophile ring or whatever. Uh, and that dude was just like not robbed. He was just shot in the back of the head twice. And they were just like, uh, uh, he lives in a dangerous neighborhood in Hoboken, New Jersey, where he pays four thousand dollars a month to live in this apartment. So dangerous. So that happens, and then it kind of goes like under the rug, and then like Epstein just like blew up because of the internet. And it, sometimes, you know, I kind of feel like obviously the the government runs the internet. It's not fucking free enterprise anymore. It's not you can't they can't just let you do whatever the fuck you want. You know what I mean? But there was so much of it that it just got out there and people were fucking blowing it the fuck up. And even people like my dad, who is like Johnny fucking Trump supporter number one, was like, oh, shit, Epstein didn't kill himself. LOL, LOL. And I'm like, Dad, the Clintons have been killing people for fucking years. They're fucking pedophiles. He's like, no, they're not. Shut up. It's just a meme. And I'm like, like Dad, please, I need you to open your fucking oodles. <laughs> Oodle you. Oodle this fucking meme a little deeper, please. See, I got the other side of that coin because what I saw on my like my Facebook t- uh, timeline or whatever was people saying every time you share these Epstein didn't kill himself memes, you're uh, you're glorifying him and you're you're uh, you're putting a you're uh, p- a positive light on a child pedophile guy and this and that. And I'm like, or we're just we're pointing fun at the fact that it's hidden right in fucking plain sight you know mm-hmm. and, and guys like yeah. you and i get on the microphone and we yell it and it's funny because we we get excited and we fucking say tower seven and i, I might be retarded and it's it's comical but at the same Pizza time <laughs> at the same time there might be shape shifting fucking reptilian motherfuckers that are drinking baby blood dude, dude. There's goddamn reptilians everywhere <laughs> Adam, I that is what it took to get me involved in this. Ask Joe B. Joe B. tried to get me in this shit fucking two years ago, and he would t- start talking about geopolitical, and I would just go turn my fucking hearing off, dude. I could give a fuck. I want to talk about aliens. I want to talk about Astar Galactic Command. Talk to me about fucking Anunnaki. Talk to me about fucking Saturn time cubes. Talk to me about all of that. You want to talk to me about some deep state shit? Fuck off, dude. That's people. I see people oh, dude, every I'm, day. I'm about. I'm about both of it. I don't give a fuck. Shout but out now, to fucking space cookies but, because but listen, I feel as though I am partially responsible for this enlightenment in your life i would say more than partially <laughs> I, would say, I would say the fucking driving factor but that's what it took it took connecting those two things dude it connecting the fucking deep yeah. state well they're not just deep state they might be super fucking human extraterrestrial reptilians from a different dimension mm-hmm. bam i'm there i'm there what yeah. did they do what did they do what did they not do okay yeah i'm here for it Tell yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. How about the fact that uh, what is there like forty nine presidents? I think forty seven of them can be linked back to one guy, like King Henry, in in like the fucking fourteen hundreds. It's all the same fucking bloodline. And why is that? Because they're all reptilians. <laughs> is Trump they even is reptile Trump reptile even in blood. on that? What is Trump even in on that? He, I'm sure he is, dude. Because he his parents were like big time money. You know what I mean? He became a fucking celebrity because he didn't have anything else to fucking bring to the table. Mm. His parents are in in fucking bed while we're in bed with the fucking banking system for fucking years, dude. And he was just like, I bet I can run for president, blah, 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 blah. And then got fucking roped up in this shit. And he's just like, oh, I'm a fucking moron. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Whatever, whatever. Uh, Grab people by their pussies and shit. He is literally, you know how dumb his fucking children are? Like, you know how <laughs> fucking absolute asinine they are? He is the same fucking person, but he's good at talking in front of fucking people because he likes when people are like, you, uh, your hands look real big today, Mr. Trump. Dude, I think back he- to a real old Joe Rogan bit from like 2006 when he was talking about George W. And he was like, there's just a bunch of people in a room that like they they were like, let's see how dumb the human or the uh, the American population is. Let's put this guy into power and he's going to do dumb shit that obviously they're not going to sign off on and let him say stupid shit, you know, that obviously they're going to know, you know, and then nobody catches it. And he goes, there's yeah. one guy in the back of the room that goes. I think we can go dumber. Yeah. And, that, and that's fucking yeah. Trump, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely, you know, we could definitely push this. And what they did was they put a fucking buffer in. They put a super charismatic, good looking black guy in between, like a half black guy. They were like, all right, come on. Let's like refresh the palette just a little bit. And then we'll <laughs> fucking come right back. And then you know what they're going to do? They're going to just drop fucking Cory Booker in there either next, like in the next fucking four years or in fucking eight years. They're just going to be like, nice little palate cleanse. 
here you go. We're going to legalize weed. Let everyone forget about it. Well, see, that's and what I've been saying. Fucking for- Rudy Giuliani is going to fucking run for president. He'd be like, hum, 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 and his teeth are going to fucking fall out. <laughs> He'd be like, I'm responsible for 9 11. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody remembers me. Yeah, dude, mother- remembers he was complacent. Him. He was complacent. He was the guy who fucking let all the pedophiles off in the fucking eight- 70s and 80s. And he was like, I'm going to get the fucking the bad guys, all the blacks and the Mexicans that are around here, the fucking drug kingpins, and we're going to shoot Italian people and blah, blah, blah. And everyone fucking forgot that he was a fucking reptilian. And then he became the fucking uh, the mayor of New York, and then 9-11 happened, and he got fucking paid, Jack. He was like, what? I don't give a fuck about Tower 7. You go ahead and you let that shit fall down at free fall speed. And, he was like, and Donald Trump was like, yo, come on, let me get on on that. Oh, that's right. Oh, you used to be a lawyer. Right now, you're going to be my lawyer. Come on, let's go get that fucking underground fucking Russian money from fucking uh, Saddam Hussein and them, who's still alive on Epstein's Island, <laughs> hanging out with fucking Tupac and them, Hussein, just fucking no, little dude, kids in their ass. I, it's got to it's gotta all come back to interstellar, interdimensional with me. And Hussein had a Stargate, dude. He fucking escaped. Yeah. He's gone. Yeah. He's yeah. Gone. He really, 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 really fucking did, dude. He had a fucking Stargate. That's you know where he got fu- it from? That's he what got the it from the, the fucking Germans. Was. That's what the fuck the, the the desert war was. It wasn't about terrorism. It wasn't about oil. It wasn't about fucking fuel. It wasn't about poppy fields. It was about goddamn stargates, dude. And you he know had he got the technology. That, he, you know he got the fucking plans from the uh from Hitler, right? Hitler I, had I a bet he stargate. did. I bet he did because yeah. they were on the fucking like the evil Jedi Council way back in uh-huh. the day, dude. Uh huh. Way back, predating yep. all the all this. And shit. that's why all those fucking Nazis are here running fucking nasa exactly faking faking mood landings and shit paper clipping them dude i was watching i was watching something good i love that we said 20 minutes ago that we were gonna stop and then we were just like operation paperclip tower seven <laughs> reptilians time cube i was just gonna say i was just gonna say dude uh before they shut us down i feel like sam tripoli and shit on tinfoil hats dude i feel like we're just saying so much bizarre shit packed into a, a tight amount of time that they're just gonna come in and pull the fucking plug yeah yeah shout out to xg in the place to be it's fucking my man. a just shout out to you guys for turning me on to that shit. I told you, man. Uh, all it took was a little bit of uh, a little bit of woo woo and a little bit of fucking supernatural shit to, to get me in. And now I'm in. That's I'm it. in. That's it, baby. Um, yeah, but that said, uh, go to Simmons and uh, check out HT Noss on all the socials, go to HT for all of our shit, inner circle PN.com. The Duchess will return next week. Uh, happy Shout Thanksgiving. Dutch. Yeah, I love you, Dutch. You're Everybody the fucking best. Dutch. Everybody loves Dutch. That's the new show. It's called Everybody Loves Dutch. I thought it was breaking the Dutch with Bobby and cracking the Dutch. Dutchy cracking the Dutch. Cracking the, the Dutch. I've been waiting for that one since summertime. I, I to get them two to do to to take the initiative to do this. I don't know. It might be. Yeah, next you know summer. that we're just gonna have to produce that show. The two of us. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah, dude. Yeah, thanks again. We're gonna take a little dinner break and then we're gonna come back and spit that hot content that you can find on the Inner Circle Podcast Network feed. So when you're subscribing to Simmons and More and you're subscribing to HT Nas, as if you already weren't, but I'm I'm just giving you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, also subscribe to the Inner Circle Presents, where you'll get all these collaborative shows, the new game show, all that extra network content that we refer to. Uh, Inner Circle Sports, me and Riley throwing smoke joe b and uncle randy uh they just had a pretty big guest on they had the mcdojo guy on dude Monday. dude i love mcdojo life i they, didn't know anything about that until that uh mcdojo life and jit soap are fucking mad tight so jay really? introduced me to mcdojo life and they just have like blown up it's just like a bunch of dudes that look like steven seagal pretending to fucking chi blast each <laughs> other with fucking fireballs in <laughs> strip malls and fucking the middle of the country that shit is fucking hilarious jack Dude, when Joe B said, hey, man, I like Dragon Ball Z as much as the next guy, but like, <laughs> dude, I've lost my shit, dude. <laughs> uh, that said, fucking subscribe to all the shows. Follow us on the social shit. media. Share the shit. Like the shit. We love you. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Mwah, big kiss, motherfuckers. Mm-hmm.